Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now in today's video I'm out on the trails on a fairly substantial hike. We have about 5.2 miles into a campsite and then a great 8 mile loop, 4 miles up, 4 miles back uh, to hit a beautiful summit. Now I'm out here with a bunch of my buddies, but more specifically my good friend Brad. So Brad and I going way back to when we were a little, little kids and we've spent a bunch of time in all aspects of life, but also climbing some pretty nice mountains out in Colorado when we were a little bit younger. Now, since I started backpacking in our current location, I tried to get him to come out here and it just has never quite been the right time. However, today is the day. So Brad's out here today on his very first backpacking adventure. It's kind of like a rite of passage. Now, for most people, I think you kind of struggle a little bit with gear selection. In this particular trip, I was fortunate enough to be able to outfit him with pretty much a perfect kit to get him started. So at this point, we'll see how he likes it. Hopefully he does well. And if he does like it, maybe it's something he'll continue to do moving forward into the future. So this is a good perspective coming from the brand new backpacker, just getting started in the hobby. And if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what we're about to get into, do me a favor, stay tuned. Oh, dude, you're in, man. He's in. I'm in. How you, how you feeling? You ready? Excited. I'll be Excited. camera two. Camera, camera one. Camera, camera one. two. Camera two. Camera two. <laughs> camera one. Camera two. Camera two. Yeah, no, feeling nice. good. Actually slept pretty well last night. Uh, thought I'd be a little bit more nervous, but no. Nice. I think I have everything. Uh, gave the wife a kiss this morning and I'm rocking it. It's nice. nice. You know, hopefully, hopefully we make it to the summit. Yeah, um, for sure. You know, we'll give it a hell of a try. I yeah. can tell you a number of occasions that I haven't made it. Really? Jason, Jason will attest to that. Really? So you know, just crank what you can, and uh, we've all not made it. Yeah, yeah. Depends on the day. I guess. Feeling good though, right now. Nice. But I'm surprised how awake I am, alert I am, the eating. Yep. Feeling good. Nice. Feeling good. Bradford. Eric. Cheers, buddy. Cheers, bro. All right. So uh, we're down here in the. Uh, I'm a little freaked out, not gonna <laughs> lie to you. <laughs> we're, we're, we're here in the Super Switch studio. Yeah. We've spent uh, many uh, hours down here. Yes, sir. Um, but today's a little bit of a different mission than what we're usually True. taking place in down True here. True story. Yep. True story. So, so it's been quite a long time since you and I have been on top of a, a summit key. together, huh? Yeah, it's been, totally. uh, I'd say, uh, actually a little over 15 years, as crazy as that it's sounds. Nuts. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm nervous. It's I'm all right. Nervous. It's all right. Well, you know what? We haven't uh, done any backpacking together. Right. And today, what we're going to do is uh, pack, a bag, right? pack a bag. We're going to yeah. go through your kit. So yeah. a lot of this gear is mine. Brad has also invested a good amount of money to get him out on the trails. I've given, a, given him some basic guidance. Yeah. Um, and our objective on this trip is to first make it to camp, set up our uh, campsite, and then we have a day's hike up and down a nice summit. So it uh, looks like we have good weather. It's going to be warm. Can't wait. Uh, 90s, Quiet. maybe, hopefully. No kids. No kids. <laughs> yep. Yeah. But uh, we're going to talk about the setup. Now, this is a bag that I have said would be a great bag, uh, not only for uh, an advanced hiker, but really a beginner, kind of a one and done uh, backpack. This is the Granite Gear Blaze 60. Um, so adjustable. So Brad, the first thing we did, yes. um, we measured your back yep. and we tried to figure out how the pack would fit. Yep. So we have the shoulder straps adjusted. Uh, we got the waist belt sized accordingly. So this is adjusted for your body size. Yep. Um, so that was the first step. Okay. Um, but for from now uh, and, and moving forward, we need to pack this thing up. Right, so, so go ahead and do it. Me, no, you got to tell me. How no, to, go how ahead. It's all it. you. So what do I do first? And, and give me your logic and, and the way I'm doing it. Well, so the, the objectives are this. First is we need to make it to camp and then we're going to set up our camp. So I do two things to set up my bag. One is I know I need to get to camp, and when I get to camp, I want to set up efficiently. So I want to be able to do some of the setup working out of the bag to the point where if I take things out of the bag, it's managed, it's organized. I don't want chaos. I don't want to lose things. Okay. And the other thing is you never know what you're getting into. Maybe you're going into a situation where it's wet or damp. You don't want to be putting your dry stuff that you're relying on to keep you warm and safe 
on the wet ground. So we're going to go in a certain order here and get yes. things packed up for That's... comfort while you're climbing and, and hiking yep. and also ease of setup when we get there. Okay. All right? All right. So first things first, right? All right. I'm giving you what I think to be about the optimum temperature rating while we're out there. Okay, so, right? yep. So here we have a field blanket, a two-go systems field blanket. Um, now this can go down to 30 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, it's definitely warmer than you need, but let's go with that. Um, you know, I have a number of options that I could share with you, but I think this is a good safe option. It's going to keep you warm and comfortable. This is open on both sides. Yep, right? so open on both ends. So, oh, so I can cinch this on this end, right? Correct. I gotcha. Yep. Okay. All right, exactly. Cool. All right. Cool. So I would put that in first. And is there any method or methodology? Just, I use just the stuff and crush stuff method. Okay. Yep. All right. Now the reason for that is if you look at things that sit in a stuff sack, they do take a shape. But that shape can leave a void space in the bottom of the bag. Now, granted, a stuff sack will help with durability and also moisture protection, but the shape is not ideal. All right, so then next, I would put the down. Yes. Yep. So I also Should gave I you... it or just stuff Just it? stuff it right in there. Yep. Right. So I gave you a down blanket for two reasons. One is, if you need it, additional warmth, which I know you're not going to need it for that. But it's yeah. there as it's security, it's warm, right? right? It's going to be warm, but this is your first time going. So I'm not going to leave you with, to chance, okay? okay? But you're sleeping in a hammock. So this is going to be a versatile piece of kit. You can crunch it up, put it under your neck for a pillow, or you can put it beneath your knees and help support you. You okay. could put it under your body to cut down on wind. We have no idea what kind of a night we're in for. What if it's crazy windy? You can put that beneath you, help cut down on wind. So okay. same thing, stuff and crush stuff, method. Stuff yep, right down into the bag. It doesn't matter. I guess it's just nope. stuff it. Anyway, stuff right? it as good as you can all the way to the bottom and, yep. and fill all the yep. corners. On yep. Okay, hold on. Re re refresh. All right. So the next thing for me so what is... Is, what's next? Just yeah. So I know what's going on. All right. Let's just talk it through, right? Now you make it to camp and you start ripping stuff out of your bag, yes. right? What, 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 what's going to happen? So here you have this ground sheet. This is going to be on the very top of your bag. So the first thing when you get to camp and you open that pack, it you, should be right on top. Right on top. You take it out, you so lay it last. out. That's last. last. Yep. Last. So that goes on top so that when you get to camp, you can pull all your stuff out, put it on the ground sheet, and that keeps it organized. It's off the ground, and you're not going to lose stuff. Okay. All right? So if that's the case, we're going to move through sort of method of uh, deduction here. Okay. Now, getting into this, um, we do have a few choices. This is your stool. That's going to go on the outside of the pack. Okay. Okay? These are water shoes. These can also potentially go on the outside of the pack if we need to. This is a fishing rod. Fishing I rod. I love my fish. <laughs> yep. And this is going on the outside, outside of the pack. Of the pack. Yep. So method of deduction, we're leaving these things. Now... Um, you have your tarp, you have your mattress pad, yes. so a sleeping pad, uh -huh. and you have your hammock. Now, all of which are a similar size, but you also have your clothing. So all four of these, to me, are logical to find a way to stuff them in next, compress them down as tight as you can into the pack, okay. but make them so they fit the most efficiently and fill the entire volume um, in that area. Is there, does so, it matter which order I do it in? You're just no? going to have to experiment for a minute and see okay. how they fit the tightest. All right. All right. So, this pack is awesome. It is a great pack, like actually. Endless. Now, you do have a feature on this bag. So, this is what um, it's kind of like a roll top design, and we'll get into yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. However, yeah. if you look at the side here, Brad, check this out. You have a side zip if you need to. Oh, cool. Okay, so we're not going to use that. Hold on to hold on to that tight so I can. Yeah, we're not really going to need that, but I just wanted you to know that it's there. Oh, that's cool. Okay. All right. These aren't all my clothes. That's right? all. I need, that's all your clothes. I need more clothes than this. You don't. This is nice, You're good. Dude. This You're is good. Crazy. No. So okay, so in here, let's talk about that real quick. Okay. You have a down jacket. A down jacket. Yep. Two pairs of underwear. Yep. Wool uh, hat. I'm wearing my hiking pants. I got a wool hat. A pair of socks. Two, uh, one pair of socks. I'm going to wear the yep. other pair of socks. Change and, a shirt. Oh, yeah. The other, the wicking shirt. Yep. I'm such a newbie. I mean, he, he's totally taking me out. <laughs> I'm freaking out. It's going to be crazy. You're good. I think that's You're it, good. though, right? Yeah. 
Yep. And that's so, all that's all you're gonna need. This is my clothes, folks. Yep. For the weekend. Yep. Yay! Now, Yay weekend. Slash, right? Yes. Um I like personally under my knees, something to you know, oh, yeah. prop my knees up when I'm sleeping. So if you don't need the down, that's gonna be the perfect shape to slide under your knees, prop your legs up, and uh, give you a little bit of elevation as you sleep. So it right. should help you with comfort. Cool. All right. So yep. Get that in nice and tight. Now, I can tell you already, just based on my experience, if you feel down in a couple of those little corners, you actually probably have just one little bit of space next to one of those stuff sacks, right? Okay. Do you feel it? Yeah, is there? Right here. Yeah. There is, right? Just yeah, a little yeah. bit oh, of space. Yeah, yeah. What 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 fits yeah. perfectly in there? Uh, I'd say my pillow. Maybe? Absolutely, yeah. and that's why I got yeah. you the one you did, right? right. So it fits nice. in there perfect. See, this right? guy takes care of me, guys. <laughs> he takes care of me. Yep. And, and it, goes and it, down low. And, and it fits you know that what? perfect space, right? And you're going to take it out kind of last. Kind of, right? As you're going to bed. We end up with your straps for the hammock. This is the tie-outs for your yes. um, tarp. Yep. And then you have pegs. Now, don't forget, that's why I go in this order, because those are sharp, right? So that could damage fabrics. If you look at the shape of all that, they're like tubes. Where? Well, well, look right here. There's a perfect gap right there. That you can oh, safely you can safely store those in there. The, the shape of the you. right. I got you. I thought you meant there were tubes in the side of the bag. I'm sorry, no. Yes, but see, I, I understand. And those yep, safely fit good. in there, yep. and, and they can't damage anything. And they can't damage anything. Right. Yep. All right. So you're on the right track. So now I would just find a crevice to jam your tie tie outs. Right. So and what are these for again? That's for the corners of your um, tarp, so you can oh, peg okay. peg out your tarp and get it nice and tight over your head. Gotcha. Because it might rain. You're going to have to help me. Because <laughs> I'm clueless. You'll, you'll be good. I'm a great guitar player. Not a, haven't done this before. <laughs> yep. Hey, right. this is the, cool. the, the learning. So this, so. Is, this is my contribution. This is the only thing I contributed <laughs> to the whole thing. <laughs> but just so you know, these are great. I use them for fishing. And they go up and over. What do you call these things again? Like a buff. Like a head buff. Yeah, like a buff. Yeah. And it goes all around your neck, all over my bald spot, and it completely shelters me from the sun. So Which, you, there's going to be a lot of sun. There's going to be a lot so, of sun. Yeah, so you'll be glad this you is, This is going in. Yep. I'll use, actually, check keep that. Fix. Keep that in your cargo pockets. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay, hold on. Time out. <sighs> so next. Okay, before I go too far, there are a couple things that fit actually very nicely in the back of the pack. And one of the things that we did not take out of here that's in here, this is your bowl and plate. I forgot that was in there. What? Yeah. So these, what it's like my bowl. Well, it's an origami. So if you snap it together, it's a bowl. And if you leave it flat, it's a plate. If you look back here, this is actually for a hydration this bladder. Cool. Yeah, cool. I just slide it right in there. Okay. okay. And what else is going to go back there is your frying pan. Oh, just in here? Yep. Okay. And you'll see that fits perfectly yep. in there. Now, I nice. double bag these, even Why? if they're clean. Why? Because they're going to be dirty. Okay. So By the end of this You're trip, thinking about coming out. Coming out. It's going to be dirty, right? Gotcha. So I right. double yeah. bag them. So if they're covered in grease or whatever, because the last thing I want is my stuff covered in grease. Gotcha. All right? And you can only clean them so good on the trails. You try, but they're still going to be dirty. Gotcha. All right? All right. So we're getting there. Now, this is your hammock straps. You're going to get them in any way they fit. Yeah, so you, you just help me with this. I, yep. I'm nervous about that. How do you know the trees are going to line up? Oh, you'll see. There's a bazillion trees. Right. That's part of the art of hammock camping is picking the Can perfect I shove trees. These down? Wherever they fit. Yep. Okay. You're golden. All right. Okay. Now, I would say try to. This is your headlamp. I would try to get it in the cup. That should be like. Okay. So if you can. Yep. It's a little like weirder shape. So yeah, just try to like melt. Yeah, there you go. You, yeah, that's it. fine. Just enough to take up some of the space, right? All right. Now, what do we have left? Okay. Now, you have some things that we really don't have organization for. So we can choose if you can find like a little, you could get like a little pouch for these. In here? Yeah. Okay. Right? Because it's semi-organized. Or right. what about... I just this? don't want the... Go to, to explode. Yeah, here, go to the side. Over on the... Yeah, there okay. you go. There you go. Perfect, right? right? Is that good? Um, and do the same with your spork. All right, mm -hmm. so I gave you... Yeah, just a nice... Yeah, there you go. Okay. Okay. Now, what do you have here? Oh, this is my... Um, well, Eric and I actually talked about this. I had a big tackle box. Where is it? Over here? 
Uh, it's right here, right? Oh yeah, yeah. I is this a it? Huge tackle box. Yeah, that that, that like, this this was not going to come on the trip, so, so I reduced them down to a reasonable the, uh, package. Yeah, the rooster tails and the and all all the spinning stuff in here. And yeah, actually, Eric, this one's probably going my hip. This is my my multi. -tool. Okay, well I'll tell you what, because you have a couple of nice little hip pockets here, so maybe it could go. Yeah, I'll probably go just right there, right? Right, right, yep. right, right, right on my belt. Here's the other thing. You have an entire head pack. So if you want... What's it, a head pack? This is the head pack. So, oh, so that's so, the top? Yeah, so here's here's what I'm thinking, so right? here? Yeah. Okay. So, so one thing we haven't talked about yet is, where is your food going? <laughs> I haven't even thought about that yet. Yeah, you got a lot of food going in here, right? And this should be wrapped, right? I would double... Yeah, I always double wrap things with deep. Okay. Okay, so you're getting there, right? We're getting close. This is my bladder. That's a water bladder. So that just that you can, can just that go in here. Um, it can. I would just put it in the main body of the pack. Mm -hmm. So while I'm on the trails, the last thing I want to do is open this part of the bag. I don't want to deal with this. Right. I don't mind going into the head pack. Okay. I don't mind going into the front of the bag, and I don't mind going into my side pockets. But the last thing I want to do is, is start digging into the main part of the bag right. for two reasons. Okay. One is. It's a pain in the ass, yes. okay? Because you have to start unclipping things. Mm -hmm. I don't want to think about unclipping shit. I just want it to be ready this to go. This is what you're carrying all the way in. in all the way to in camp. to get to camp, and right? And you're there, and you're done. Yes. And, and it all comes out, yep. and it all goes back in. So I'll tell you, sometimes in here, I'll put my dinner, but I'm not going to put my lunch, and I'm not going to put my snacks, and I'm not going to put my water. Some people carry water in their pack. I will well, not put a hydration bladder in there. Water. I mean, right. Water's going to be... Yeah, so we're doing two liter, I'm sorry, one, two one liter yeah. Poland Springs bottles for water and the two liter um, bladder if we need it, which we will once we start hiking. So that's that's good there. All right. What's this? Soap? Yeah, that's just soap. All right. So just throw that in the top. Matches? And matches. Did you give me these? Uh, I think your wife gave you those. She is pretty awesome. Nice. So throw those All in right. the top. All right. And I should double wrap this. Double wrap that. I just, uh, just anything with D to me, yeah. it's just worth it. I mean, that has a push button. You never know. Sometimes right. it can get pushed. Uh, D can actually melt fabrics. Um, I've watched really? a couple of channels that yeah. actually have done tests of D on uh, nylon and polyester and ripstop materials. And it actually literally can melt it. So um, it's a, just a little safeguard, a little overkill, but I'd rather overkill that and be safe then find out you melted your you know 250 dollar bag or your sleeping bag or anything else that you care about so to, i'm learning space is space is a premium important. this is this this is the game of yeah. efficiency yeah. and, and you have to think it through and that's what that i love the mental aspect of backpacking you have to think about your trip your water your food your system your shelter your safety your destination Everything about the trip comes into play. And the more experience you have, the better you can do to plan. Out here? I would, because you're going to need to go to that pretty much right away, okay. if I had to expect. So at the time of this video, um, it's mid-June, going yep. into the third week of June, almost summer. Yep. Um, and I know based on the terrain we're going into, there's going to be bugs that we're going to want to contend with. So okay. keep that accessible. Okay. All right. So now we're getting close. It looks like you have a lot of room in your pack, but believe me, it's the food. the rest right. of this is going to go quick. Yeah. So, based on what I see, and I can tell you, we're not going to have river crossings until we're hanging out at the river. Now, based on my guidance, I told you to get some water shoes. I think you will find that those are going to come into play. I All would right. put those on the inside of the pack. So you on can, the, like in here. yeah, we have room at this point. So find a place, maybe remove a couple things, get those into the flat part. You know, underneath you got some, yep. you know, a couple of flat items. So maybe, yeah, remove the. There's my clothes. Yep. Yep, and, and right in there, the yeah, and then get the clothes there. back on top. And okay. you'll see that if you pack the proper way. You're really utilizing the volume of space you have very efficiently and tight. That is the name of the game. All right. All right? Cool. Now, I feel like you have a pretty good order there, right? Okay. 
So we can make some decisions based on the food that we're going to bring. And we haven't completely figured that out no, yet. No, we haven't yet. Right? So my suggestion at this point is we put our dinner inside here. Okay. Okay? Because it may... First out, pretty much, right? Like we're walking in, or we're, well, we're gonna, we're gonna, well, your lunch you're gonna want on the outside of the pack, okay? Because okay? you're probably gonna eat some of that while we're on the trail. So if you look, you have this entire nice outside mesh. Oh, I didn't okay? see that. So you can put all your snacks, you can put anything that you want to eat while you're on the trails, and you also have the rest of the head pack. So the good news there is you don't need to keep that stuff inside the bag. Got it. So what I would do is put your um, dinner and anything that you don't need while you're on the trails inside the bag. So I think the last thing we have, Eric, is, uh, well, not the last thing because we have all this room for food. Right. right? And so you're, you're days, yeah, you're in good days. shape. Yeah. So, I mean, we have plenty of volume, plenty of storage. Okay. But what we're going to do is we're going to try to finalize a few thoughts. So okay. here's your stool. There's no real effective way to get it in the bag. So it has to go in the bag. I would or say outside. You, you have these nice, generous pockets oh, okay. on the side. Cool. So what I would do is I would slide this through these. You have nice compression straps. So utilize those. Hold it into place. But don't, doesn't my water need to go there? Well, you have, you have plenty of room. Do you? Okay. I can put, fit two there? You can fit two okay. and then a All third right. on this side and you're going to be golden. Right, cool. No problem. All right, awesome. Okay. That's going to go in the top. This is my ground sheet. Yes. Right. So yep. as soon as I come to camp, yep, pop it out, and then you just out, get to it. it. Yep. And yep. I just start pulling. Stuff start pulling out. stuff out and getting the. You're gonna getting, help with that, right? Of course okay. I will. No, you're on your own. You can't do it. Tough I'm shit. I'm gonna be lost. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the wild card, and the good thing is we have a nice, easy hike into camp. So yes. it's not like you're scrambling through yes. brush. Right. So I would leverage this for okay. sure. Okay. Okay, and maybe um, should I? Maybe I would I should tie wrap these together. No, I, uh, yeah, maybe tie wrap them together and put the handle right through this. So yep. the handle. I'll put the, the yep handle right through that. So we'll go like this. Yep, and then you can use this compression strap to hold it into open? place. Yep. So just unclip that, go around it, and you actually have three, so it can hold oh, it the whole cool. way up. What a nice bag! Man, man. This bag is beautiful, yeah, actually. It's a nice bag. It really is. Yeah. That's why I say all the time, the Blaze 60 or the Osprey Atmos to me. I have to zip tie it, to be honest with you. I mean, it's... All right, so the top of this bag is a drawstring. So pull that open. Okay. Tuck that all nicely inside. Just yeah, wrap, wrap, the, just wrap okay. everything up and get it all nice and cinched down. I always do everything as carefully and as tidy as I can. It all makes a difference in the end. It's anal, but... To me, that comes into ride quality and quality of carry while you're on the trail. All right, okay. so roll that tight. Just roll, roll it. Imagine if it was pouring rain out. How would you want like that to roll be? This, this right? Way? Yes. All right. Okay. okay. It's pouring rain. Yep. How do you want that to be? Well, let me do this way. Let me say like exactly. Okay. Tight. Exactly. Now you have a clip. All right. So you have a clip that goes this way. Clip that. Okay. Then. You have these that come over the top oh, as okay. well. All right. All right. So you're Let's like totally way. locked in at that point. Okay. All right. Obviously, and you can cinch and tighten fits. everything down. All right. So um, at this point, now we have your head pack. All right. So that's you're good. Okay. Yep. All right. So now take your head pack, flump it over the top. Yep. Okay. Now let's get this adjusted. So you have clips in the front. Oh. These so these clips. all clip down. Yep, and now you'll see there's these ones which do the head pack. Yep, so just, you'll see, this is, um, it doesn't really go that far off. It goes over the top. Here, check oh, okay. this out, right? It's made so that you can remove oh, it. Okay. So it kind of goes over the top. And then you'll okay. see it cinches down oh, in the back. These yep. Line up. yep, so tighten that all down. Okay. Your bag is so tidy that I feel like you're missing something, but you're not. <laughs> I'm giving you a lightweight kit to start. Yeah, you, dude, I started at like 70 pounds and killed myself. You're starting at well, ultra light kit, you I'm bastard. You. You're helping me out. Yeah, fix this. Oh, yeah. Keep that over the top. Okay. Yep. There you go. Yep. And now you're actually fairly well set up. Okay. Yeah. Like yeah. Yeah. You're golden. So uh, you still have this compression strap across the front. You can tighten that down. There you go. Yep. 
All right. And down here. Down here. Yep. Snug that up. Okay. And at this point, I think you're in good shape. So everything's in pretty good shape. Obviously, you can put all your snacks, right? Yeah. So this is going to be whatever, trail mix, um, you know, apple, ice whatever. Cream. I, ice cream. Yeah, <laughs> ice, ice cream. Yeah. Um, all right. And then there it goes. Wow. I, what I would like to do it is good. I would like to weigh this and see How heavy yeah, where you're coming in. This looks way too efficient. This is the uh, T T17. T17. Yep. By the way. Yeah. Yep. Rock it on the. Uh, when we pull it out it on the shoulder strap. No, Ready? good. Yeah. Nice. The somebody's seal of approval. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that's yeah. Be, yeah. Careful, <laughs> EJ Snyder. Yeah. Uh, Skull Crusher seal of approval. Seal of approval. Yeah. All right. And then this. Yep. Nice. Sternum strap. Yep. All right. And I'm a mountain climber. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's it, folks. That's what you do. Good luck. Good luck with that. I'm, I'm going to die. You're good. You're We're going to do an exit interview, too. Yeah, <laughs> well, exactly. It's all said and done. Yes. Uh, it actually does feel good, though. Nice. I can't lie to you. It, nice. It's heavy here. Yep. Right? And it feels good up here, though. Let's see. The good news is once we get to camp, you get to ditch most of the weight. So it is fairly flat going in, set up camp, and then we have our summit climb. So at this point, only question, getting that back mounted on we the back. Get that on the, yep. On the outside straps, right? Yep. Getting your food in there and uh, yep. making sure you're set. But other than that, a couple little refinements I can tweak you now. Uh, a couple things. This is a load lifter strap. What's which that mean? This helps to balance the overall load. So uh, reach up with your hand, grab that. Yep. Now okay. pull it till it's just, just there. You go. Yep. You don't want to over crank it. Okay. Just and and, and the other the side. side. Yep. There oh, you yeah. go. No, yep. Totally tightens it up. Yep. And that it, should it keep pulls it. Pulls the whole load into my shoulder. Right, which helps it keep it tighter oh, to yeah. your back. No, this right. looks great. This feels great. It actually is more efficient than my bag right now. I'm a little <laughs> jealous. Well. We haven't added food. <laughs> right. I haven't Which either. Is heavy. Yeah, I haven't either. That's, that's heavy. So nice. All right. So the question is, what's it weigh? I don't know. What do you think? I'm gonna say thirty-five pounds. Thirty-five? I'm, that might be heavy. Let's let's weigh it up. Alright, so Brad plus the pack. One 85.4 yeah so this is considered to be your base weight no fuel no food no water so your base weight nice toes 163.5 it's only 20 pounds no then what are we missing 185 what are we missing how do I, I give you a 20 pound pack and I'm carrying a 35 pound pack I don't know if that'll work. 21 and a half pounds. <laughs> Winning! Why'd I give you all my good stuff? Winning! <laughs> I was thinking 30 pounds. I was like, wait a minute. All right, thanks for the pack, bud. Oh, Go you bastard. You have all my good stuff. <laughs> all right, you all right. ready? I'm ready. I'm nervous, but I'm ready. Don't kill my husband. You'll be fine. You'll be right, fine. Guys. We'll talk to you on the trail, and we'll do... Do you want to do, like, a recap video? Let's do a recap, yeah. yeah we'll do a recap video. All right. Well, you know what? We'll shoot, we'll shoot it on the way home. I'll be asleep. <laughs> All right. Nice. All right, dude. Let's, let's rip it.